Are things fundamentally changed uh, yeah. with China? I mean, I, I think it's clear that we've in a, we're in a new era with China. I think that um, what's happening in Taiwan, uh, China just uses Pelosi's visit as a reason to ratchet. All they've been ratcheting in one way, in one direction, and it's towards um, the eventual takeover of Taiwan, whether they do it uh, peacefully uh, or, as, or, as she said in a speech, you know, peacefully or else. Um, the question is, do they, do they invade? And do they invade in the next year or two? Do they invade in the next three or four? And what does that mean for U.S. national security with our reliance on Taiwan Semi for chips uh, and our reliance on China for um, antibiotic production and, and blood pressure medicine? There, there are some things where there is a reliance that is such a deep reliance on China on core areas of our, call it our existence. But then the flip side is we actually hold the economic nuclear button in the United States. China still uses dollars to interact with the rest of the world for the overwhelming majority of their transactions. And so if China's belligerence gets to a point where we need to do something, uh, potentially engage either militarily or economically, I believe, uh, we should press that economic button and, and uh, remove them from the SWIFT system and use that as a deterrent for China's potential invasion of Taiwan. Those are the things that I think need to be socialized in our, in our government. So do they wait until they build up their parallel SWIFT system? I, you know, you say parallel SWIFT system. So far, uh, well, it's kind of like the old axis of evil, right? You right, have Russia exactly. partnering with China. Yeah. Uh, and you have Iran as a friend of China. And you have North Korea as a potential friend of China. Mm -hmm. You know, if the bad guys want to go hang out on the bad block, there is not going to be enough of a, quote, SWIFT system for the bad guys uh, to properly operate. Uh, so I, I don't believe that that's an alternative. I think that um, I think that their reliance on the globe is still going to be uh, uh, tantamount to their success. And their global primacy is something that they've convinced the academics, some academics in the U.S., the, some of uh, the think tanks, and, and uh, even some of the Wall Street analysts.